Hi. Today we are discussing about uh, unconnected lookup. Okay. So unconnected lookup uh, we are using uh, when you want to take only one column value from any one of the table, then you can use unconnected lookup instead of taking connected lookup. Comparatively connected, unconnected will improve the performance. But we are using when you want to take only single value because unconnected lookup will return only one value means one column okay so here i'm taking same source same target drop and recreate create a new mapping here mapping create Okay, drag and drop source and targets. Okay, so directly here creating and connected lookup. Lookup on target table. Okay, so here in unconnected we have to add one column manually. So which column you want to compare that column we need to create. This is input underscore bpt and more so the here the condition is department number of lookup equal to department number of input input value so from ports we are taking this department number so we can return any value what are the column you want you can return that okay apply We need to change this one. This is very, very important. Okay, I'm changing this name. So directly, we are taking filter. We are passing all columns from here. So in static lookup, we are checking in filter. The filter condition is true or false using lookup column. Here also, so from here, we can pass the value into the in underscore department number in lookup transmission. Source department number I'm passing. Okay. And lookup department number I'm taking. So same condition if of is null of lookup department number true comma false. Instead of taking direct value, just we are taking from unconnected lookup. Process is same, everything is same. So from condition we are passing the source department number into here. So from condition we are checking lookup unconnected lookup return value null or not okay create a new workflow new session unconnected lookup from here chain the source target same way everything is same and this one also save it start from so we'll get same six records first I'm running one more time already six are existed right so that's why you'll get zero now see so insert one more record into the ta source table 
seventy HR two. So run one more time, we'll get only latest record, new record. Total seven records from source, but in dark it only one record. Okay, the same process, but when you want to take only one column from any other table, you can use unconnected lookup transmission. The static only, on static cache only, you can create a unconnected lookup transmission, not on dynamic. Okay, so next topic is SCDs. So SCDs is slowly changing dimensions. Slowly changing dimensions, uh, we have three types in slowly changing dimensions. So using the dimension tables, we can using the dimension tables we can load historical data into the target tables okay so we have total three types of dimensions slowly changing dimensions type 1 is current information type 2 is historical information and type 3 is partial history so here in type 1 we are loading always current information into the target. So means, see here, this is type 1 data. So here you have employee number, employee name, location and salary. So you got two records, first time you loaded the two records into the target table, 234 Swati US and 15,000. And Nisha, you get 20,000. So if you have any changes in these two records in the source, means the location will change or salary will change. Okay. If you have any changes in the source records, we have to update the target table. Because in type 1, we are loading current information, the latest data. If the record is not present, we are loading that record because those are the new records. If record is already existed, if it contain any changes, we are updating the target. Okay. So in type and always we are maintaining current information, latest data. Okay. And in type 2, we are loading historical information, total history of the records. In type 2, we have another types, flags, version and date range. In type 3, we have partial history. Okay. So first we'll see what is type 3. Then I'll explain type 2. So here in type 3, employee number, employee name is there, current location, previous location and salary. So these are the five columns we have. So here we created a two columns with current location and previous location. Means partial history. The current location information with previous location information. Partial history we are loading into the target so when you are loading a new record into this table 258 nisha uk location the previous location is null means that is the latest record the latest record contain null value in the previous if you got any changes in the nisha record you will get previous location okay so part of the history we are storing in the target and in Swati if you got any changes in the current location okay from UK to India 
So what is the previous location? UK. So every time we are passing the previous location into the previous location column. So like this we are updating the records and we are storing part of the history in this table. This is the type 3 partial history. In type 1 latest records current information in type 3 part of the history partial history. So based on table structure means previous salary current salary previous designation current designation. So based on that we are storing part of the history. Okay, and the type 2. In type 2, we have three types flag, version, and date range. In type 2, we are loading historical data. So, historical means if you have any changes in the existing record. That changes also we are inserting as a new record into the target. So I'll give you one example here. This is first record. Okay. So here, this is the complete table we have. Okay. So this is the first record. First time I loaded into the table. So here, flag value is 1. When you are loading a new record into the table, we are giving the flag value is 1. So like that, we inserted one more record, Ravi, with flag value 1. Because that is also latest record. So two records I have in the source, two record I inserted into the table with flag value 1. After that, I got some changes in the Swati record. The salary is increased. So here, we are maintaining historical data. So salary change, we are not updating the same record. We are loading historical data, total history. So if the location changed or salary changed, if any changes you have in the existing record, we have to insert as a new record that changes we have to insert as new record so here in this case this third record is the latest with the flag value 1 but both the flag values is 1 1 nothing but it's a latest record so but the first record is old right so we have to update this into 0 again Swati contains some changes the location changed salary changed so in this case, this is the latest record. So again, the third record flag value we need to change into zero. Zero nothing but old records, one nothing but new records. If you are inserting any new record into the table, the flag value is one. One means latest record. If you have any changes in the existing record, again we are inserting a new record means the existing record changes as a new record into the table with the flag value 1. At the same time, we are updating the previous record flag value into 0. Okay, like this, we are maintaining the historical data using flag. Okay, for new records, we are inserting the records directly into the table. If you have any changes in the existing record, we are inserting one record with the flag value 1 and at the same time we are updating existing record flag value into 0. Okay. So you will get clear idea when we are doing the practical session. So this is version. In version we are uh, same process we are loading historical data when you are loading a new record okay the version value is 1 if you have any changes in the same record we are incrementing the version value previous version value plus 1 okay that's why 2 
again I got some changes in that record so previous max version plus 1 max version is 2 2 plus 1 3 again 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 so we are incrementing the version values but for the new record we are giving the version value is 1 for existing record changes we are giving incremental version value okay so every time we are taking the maximum version and we are adding plus 1 to the maximum version okay we are not updating anything here version so that's why for new records we are inserting the value we are inserting the record into the target for uh, for update record also we are inserting the target inserting a record into the target okay there is no updates in the table there is no update strategy in the table because here we are using incremental version value okay the next one this is the last one so here we have uh, employee ID employee number location salary and start date and end date of the records okay so for each and every new record the end date is null because record created today so we'll get today's date the start date of the record there is no end date means there is no updation in the tar uh, in that record okay so for each and every insert means each and every new insert we will get the end value is null end date value okay so if you have any changes in that record then you will get end value so swati us salary is 1000 when it's loading first time start date is 1 and 1 2000 end date is null so it contains some changes that's why we inserted third record Swati US 15,000 so it's changed on 1 2 2000 so the end date is 1 2 2000 for the first record okay so here for the third record the end date is null so if you have any changes in the existing record we have to insert a new record at the same time we need to update end date value of the old record okay this is same like flag here we have inserts and update plus inserts okay so these are the three types we have in type 1 we are loading current information latest information in type 2 historical data in type 2 we have flag version date range and type 3 partial history so these are the three types we have in slowly changing dimensions okay so in the next class we can see the practical session of this three types thank you